Hi guys, it's Art Time with Mr. M. And today we're gonna uh, kind of work with marks and lines today. Spiral lines, a little bit of zigzag, but mo mostly swirly lines. And we're gonna try to make a kind of coming into spring type of uh, uh, drawing here. Um, so if you, you just need some paper, or a sheet of paper, uh, A4 maybe, uh, and also some colors. Uh, I recommend using crayons or oil pastels uh, just so they could make a, a bigger mark, wider mark, even markers if you have it. But any color it will do. So what we're going to first start off with is we're going to first start with making a spiral. So here I am. I'm going to make a spiral and it's usually better to start making the spiral from the center. And what we, we want to do is maybe just create three spirals, okay? So that's one. I'm going to change my color. Uh, let's go with a different, another spiral here, okay. There's my other spiral. You can change the size and the shape as well. So I'll keep this shape. Make it almost the same as the other one. Oh, you know what? I will make it a little bit bigger, okay. Uh, change the color again, because we want three of them on here. Let's see, what should I use for this color? Let's go with a kind of a nice warmer color too. Another spiral. Now it's okay if you make a mistake, you can see uh, my spiral kind of loops and touches each other and that's okay so uh, and then what we're going to do on top of this is we're going to add another layer of spiral to it with inside the other spiral so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to start from the inside kind of go on the outside trying to find the line it's okay if they overlap or touch each other okay so there you go let's do the other one too See what kind of color shall I use with this one? Maybe, a, oh, let's go with a little purple. So again, put that one in here. I'm just following along the other spiral if I can. Okay, just like that. Okay, and then next we're gonna do one more, the last one here. What kind of color do I want with this one? Let's go with, of a, a lighter green. Now you've noticed that I kind of overlapped earlier and again like I said that's okay don't worry about it. We're just trying to show you how nice it is to use two colors, two different colors, okay and then that's great. So now we're gonna I, I need you, uh, you can use whatever color you want but let's try to make kind of a stem like color. So here because these are our flowers. Now, if you notice, I, I will make one line going down. And if you want to, you can make two lines going down if you think it's a little bit too thin. And that's okay too, okay? You can even make it even thicker than that. Make another line, a third line. Okay, and do the same thing. And now I'm gonna make the leaves from the stem. And we're gonna do the same thing, uh, this time kind of making, um, a spiral but starting from the shape in the shape of a leaf starting from the stem I mean and then just kind of going around it again and again and again just like that doing the same on the other side here okay Can make two more over here okay kind of did that one a little bit short but that's okay let's try one upside down So if I'm closer to the edge, I can get more spiral in there. Do another one over here. Might change this pattern a little bit more. Kind of looks like a heart shape. Do the same over here. Okay, there we go. And uh, so the next stage is again, uh, finding another color. So we're looking at colors, guys. We're like mixing some colors, stuff like that. So what I'm making here is I'm going to be creating some petals here. Just using loop-de-loop -loop lines. So I'll just make some loop-de-loop. -loop. Okay, change the color again. Now, actually, if you want to, you can add a second color into that same loop-de-loop -loop line. It just makes it so much more exciting. So we're looking about overlapping lines using different color marks just to make our pictures more exciting. 
So let's see with this one, let's go back to maybe an orangey color here. So creating a loop-de-loop. -loop. It does not have to be perfect, okay? We're just, just supposed to try to have fun with this. Don't worry too much about it. Let's maybe go with a kind of a pinker one. And I'll loop-de-loop -loop again. Look at that. I like the way the colors are mixing together. Okay, let's go with the other one down here. Let's see, let's go for a yellowish color this time. And I'll overlap the other one. Okay, and then maybe change that color. Maybe kind of go with the darker green this time. Okay, I like that. Okay, so there we do. That's where we have our flowers. Now we can add other things to the picture if you want. So let's um, let's play with a, a, a maybe a purple a purple butterfly. Where am I gonna put this butterfly? Okay, let's start here with kind of like a candy cane shape that goes one way and then reverse it going the other way. Okay. Now, I'm going to add some wings to it. We're going to use two different colors, so I'm going to use a little bit of a nice bright blue here. And it's the same thing. We're doing spiral. Okay. Again, it's okay to overlap the other lines. So I did bigger spirals there. I'm going to make a smaller one here. I'll change the color a little bit. Maybe go with the I did purple already. Let's go with red again. Okay, kind of. And then what we're gonna do is gonna make a smaller one here. There's my butterfly. Okay, so actually we're pretty much almost done. It just shows you, um, you did some swirly flowers, some swirly butterfly. Let's add some grass. So I'm gonna go with green. And here's where we can use some maybe just zigzag lines. Okay, you can change the distance of the lines if you want to. The length of them, I mean. Make them long, make them short. Make them go in different directions. So well, that's entirely up to you. Okay, and then again, just like I said before, let's add another color to that. It's always nice to have a mixture of color. So just zigzag on top of that. If you wanted to, you can add other things to it. If you wanted to add a little bit of, like maybe some swirly yellow poppies or something like that. So something, like, let's see. So if you want to add some swirly poppy, like little flowers in the grass if you wanted to. Um, that gives me the idea of also doing the sun. Let's create a sun here. So I'm just gonna use my, again, Using the swirl, it's going off the page and that's okay. And then I'll add another color into that just to give it some excitement. And again, it's okay to overlap. Okay, so I might add some rays. You can curve them, you can keep them, make them straight, it's up to you. But again, you see, just one color doesn't look all that fantastic, so I'm gonna add a second color to those rays. Just makes it a little bit more interesting. So using a lot of curved lines, similar to what Van Gogh likes to do. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so you can add anything else you want to here. If you want to add more grass, if you want to add a tree in the background. Uh, but I think this is pretty, I'm pretty happy with this the way it is. If you want to, you can even add a rainbow. If you want to do a rainbow in the background or something like that, you can. Let's say if I wanted to make one that kind of ran, ran across here like this. Okay, let's see. It's kind of going, going to go off the page so you don't see it. Um, so that's okay. So just adding it in the background. You can add clouds, you can add birds. Let me finish this rainbow up real quick. So 
shouldn't take too long with this, okay? But just to give you an idea of how to make a very swirly kind of artwork, kind of drawing to it. So it just goes around. I think I, I don't want to write, draw over the other the petals here, so I have to be careful and just kind of go around it. Uh, but it's okay to mix into the other layer. Maybe I'll add one more color, just a kind of a light blue, and then I'll stop it from here. Okay, just blue. Okay. And then I'll stop it there. So there's my little nice, nice little happy rainbow over here. Um, and a little bit, maybe, if I wanted to, I use the same color. I can make some swirly clouds or, um, yeah. So if I want to make to, uh, a happy, a happy swirly cloud. Okay, so anytime you're doing your artwork and when you finish it up, it's always good to, to put your name on it, just write your name on there somewhere. I'm going to use a color that I normally like, which is blue. And I'm just going to write my name, so Mr. M. And if it's for school, just write your class as well. If it's a school, I'm going to write art. Okay, Art time. There we go. Not a very good art time, but that's it for my swirly coming into spring uh, drawing picture.